Hey guys, it's Commander Blondie here with some more Dong Gate. This time, we're playing the new guy, Basco, who looks pretty damn cool, in my opinion. So, I'm just gonna go health with two pots, because his base damage is pretty high. Now, I'm gonna get Onslaught first, which is until two jumps, as you can see. The first jump just does cleave damage, as you can see. And the second jump does an AoE that stuns and deals the same amount of damage. So that's pretty nice. Gonna go ahead and get Tailwind. Uh, Tailwind, maybe. You got Drain. I'll go ahead and get Drain first. Vasco has some pretty good mobility. So going of his ability is really quick. His W puts a chain on uh, everything around you, every, every, every enemy around you, and it deals small damage and it gives you a small shield and it slows. So his Q is just a quick jump that deals damage, but if I use an ability, you see how it has the little usable lines above it or around it, that makes it do more damage and it implies on hit effects. So I'm just gonna probably mess up Kendra by killing all her small minions <laughs> and talk about my ultimate. So basically you just toss out chains that deal damage based on how low health they are and so you this minion. There we go. And it also roots them. But if you've ever played League you can tell. This is like Darius' ultimate where if within three seconds they die of the uh, ultimate then um, you can reuse it for 15 seconds. So it's just, you can kind of spam it if there are low people, low health people around. So unfortunately I do not have Warded, which would be really nice on this guy. I used up all my money on him, so. We go ahead and get offensive. There we go. So Good damage. He's got the stun. As you can see, I don't really. Oh, this is warded. Ah, I nearly forgot his passive. Alright. So his passive is one of the more interesting passives. When he goes below 50%, whichever stat between health, power, bonus armor, magic assist, haste, or life drain he has invested the most money in, he gets a bonus to. Which is pretty interesting. And since I bought life, of course I'm gonna get health. Fortunately, I cannot dive. Because I have no escape after the stun. So I've got this. It does not work on minions, but it works on uh, shapers and. Oh shit. That's gonna hurt. It works on shapers and uh, jungle monsters. So he might be a good jungle with this. Though I don't, I'm not sure how it would work, because it's just a shield, and normally you need damage to uh, jungle. At level one, at least. Anyway, I don't know how. I really wish they give you a time limit on wards. Be really nice. Now I do want to go in on this guy, but he's so far under. Mm. But as you can see, you got about 30 extra damage if you use an ability before using your Q. So that's pretty nice. Go ahead and kill him. Drain? Yep. And then also, I max E for the uh, damage because it's an AoE. It's debatable to max W, but I don't really like it. Because the shield is kind of crap. Pop this health pot. And get a billion life regen. Gonna put my plays in the stone right there. And Hello. I don't approve. Oh, yeah, you got him. Good. Go ahead, max on slot as usual. Ooh, is Fenmore gonna die? Ah, damn, he died. Oh, well, that wasn't really worth it. Let me go ahead and get pride and power. And two health pots. So I'm going to go ahead and go for glory first. Mainly because I'm not sure what to buy. <laughs> but um, 
it does seem to be doing good for me. The last couple of games it does good damage. But uh, the power is good as well. we'll Simply because the more damage you do, the better benefits you get from all of this. Because he has pretty good scalings. So as you can see, very good AoE damage. It's a decent cooldown. Let's go ahead and kill this guy again. There's the stun. He's pretty much dead. Yep. As you can see, the uh, pride finished him off. And also, something I actually didn't notice until now. Q does not stack on itself. Even though... Hmm, I suppose it would be kind of weird, but... Theoretically, if you got some haste, you could spam Q and you would always have the uh, bonus. Well, regardless, I'm going to go ahead and go for this tower. So looking at Masco himself, he looks pretty damn cool. He's got two giant axes, I suppose those are. And, oh, there's Dex. He's got kind of like a fiery look to him. Let's get him. Oh. Let's see if I can come around here. There we go, got him. Do not want to go in on this. I'm just gonna go and pop that. Oh god, this is gonna be bad. Maybe I can get away. We'll see. They're not extremely quick. Mm -mm. Stop. Ooh. Ooh, that passive proc. Barely saved my life. Go ahead, slow him down. Oh, oh damn. Oh. oh, well. So we got glory now. So now we even get more health from 88 to uh, 186. Uh, Fenmore probably won't be able to get a lot of CS there because he's not good at CSing under the tower. Alright, we're up. And oh, wait, I forgot to buy potions. Go ahead and buy two because those were pretty helpful last time. Now, I'm not too sure what to build power into. Personally, I think Betrayal is probably the... No, never mind. I thought that went from power. Um, it'll probably be Control, then. With inevitability because of the health. Yeah, I suppose that's good. No. I do believe we'll get another kill here. Because of the low cooldown on my Q. There we go. Go ahead and go over this way. Slow him down a bit. There's the passive proc, unfortunately. Didn't really want to use it there, but. Go ahead and pop the potion. Oh shit! Oh, hello. Okay, totally killed this guy. Stunned, and you're done. Now I'm maxing Q second. I really don't see the point of giving stacks into Unbreakable because the shield is so small. Ow. Though I think it does upgrade the slow, which is okay. Let's see if I can sneak around here. Uh, nope, never mind. It's not here. As you can see, you can use it on jungle monsters. But the shield is very small. I don't particularly like it. Early game, it's mainly for the damage. Especially since it goes off power, which is odd for a shield. Ah, fuck you. Just gonna 
gonna keep going on this guy because he's being really cocky. So there's that. So as you can see, the uh, shield only goes up by about six. So no, not much point in leveling it up. Just gonna go ahead and get some will, and then yeah, I think that'll, that'll be it. Get three health pots this time. Now. Again, we're going for inevitability. Because it's pretty nice. An ally has been slain. Funny place. Though, looks like, yeah, Cerulean won bot lane. Interesting. So yeah, I just move around the map using Onslaught. It's kind of slow, but you can jump some walls with this secondary uh, jump. Oh, probably shouldn't be taking minions here, but I want to kill that Vex. Yeah. I'm just gonna push it out. Come on, pull me. Do it. I want you to do it. No, no, come back here. Go over here and jump him. Come here. Come here. Come on. No. You're gonna be over here. Pop the shield and drain. If I can't sneak around. Come on, get Bastion. There we go. Okay. Alright, now I can fight. There we go. Oh, thank you, Cerulean. Oh, please. No, Cerulean. No. No. Oh. Oh, well. Oh, I got shut down. I was 7 and 3. Wow. Grabbing inevitability. When you got him. Oh, is that Chaos Bolt? Hit a shell. Oh, he's got too much shield. Oh, he's so low, too. Oh, man. Oh well. Whew, that was intense. But we did end up on top, which is pretty nice. So go ahead and, go ahead and grab some more potions. So, looks like we're doing pretty damn well. 14 and 7. No, I don't know where their team is other than Cerulean. Oh, jumped the wrong, <laughs> jumped the wrong way. So if no one's gonna get this, I'll get this damage buff. Because I kind of want this to buff my damage. Because while health is good, it's only for six seconds. So it's like a little thing that you can do to increase your health for a little bit. But I don't particularly like that. So there's that. See, do we get that? No, unfortunate. Oh well, I'll just. Oh, that's a big wave that I can farm. There we go. So you see, his ulti damage like goes up by a lot. Oops. Go. Jump on these guys. All right. So something that I've noticed when uh, playing Basco is when he's not doing, like, attacking anything. Sometimes he kind of... He doesn't blow up, he kind of just, like... There's a little fire that comes out of his shoulder pads, which looks pretty cool. Just something that I've noticed. Ooh, hello, Cerulean. How are you today? Hello. How are you today? What's up? How you doing? <laughs> so I don't want to back off, so I'm going to pop the health pot. Parasite? Hmm. It's just going to be 3v5 if they want to fight us. But I don't particularly want to tank it. Oh, God. Pride. <laughs> 
Well, it looks like I'm doing it anyway. Pop a health potion just to keep myself healthy. And again, if you look at what I'm doing, my abilities, I'm using an ability, hitting Q. Using an ability, hitting Q. So I don't really want to. But, um, <clears throat> that's pretty much what you do. So now that I've got this, I've got like permanent health pod going right now. Go ahead and see if I can grab their tank buff. That'd be really nice when combined with the. Oh, hello. How are you? So yeah, as you can see, you can jump a couple walls. So he kind of turned green there for a second. I don't know if you saw that. But I did. I don't know what that was. Alright. Regardless. There's that. We're right here. <clears throat> right here, bro. Now we'll go in the moment I have ulti. Maybe not with Cerulean there. Oh well. If I had full health, I probably would have gone in. So I want to see if they'll push out. Which, I doubt it. Oh well. I'll go bot then. Oh, hello. Pop my ulti again. Get this stun off. Slow. But keep hitting Q. And then hit some Drain up. Oh, you hit that? No. No. I don't even need to use Bastion. Let me get this. So, yes, Basco is very strong. <laughs> Go ahead and get hope. Hopefully that'll give me the armor for this, but again it is giving me some good magic resist. Oh, I hit I. Don't know how to do this. There we go. Now we've got Kensu coming in. Something I'm gonna go in on. There's his link. Oh, hey, nice. I got, a uh, Whatever that ability is that gives shields to allies. Hello. Yeah, I've got... Oh, damn it. Bastion didn't save me. Get him. Get him, I believe in you. Yeah. Good job. Get him by hope. Then by aggression. So, I'm gonna get destruction. Never actually gotten, uh... <clears throat> aggression item. But, I want to see how well it does. So they actually put little uh, dots under these to show you what level they are, which is really nice. So it doesn't look like leveling this up gives uh, slows. <clears throat> uh, Alright, there we go. I would like the uh, parasite buff for the just for the percentage health uh, regen, but oh well. So it seems between all the health that I've gotten, 600 overall, the uh, passive likes health more, which is unfortunate because I do not. But oh, the haste buff isn't there, so I'll go ahead and get the power buff. While my team is fighting. So you've got like a double burn going on here with his uh, shield burn and the uh, pride or glory burn. And think, oh yes, we got to uh, switch it up to power just because of aggression and inevitability. This probably bumped it up quite a bit. Though I don't know why, because you haven't spent vim to get that. Oh well. I'll stop him, don't worry about it. He is gonna jump away though, so I don't wanna use any abilities to jump up to him. 
Other than my horse again. There we go. Now he's dead. Yep. So there's that damage. I know I didn't use my ultimate for damage, but I just... You don't have to use the ultimate for damage. It's pretty good to catch up to people as well, as you saw. Let's see if I can... Yeah, now he's dead. Like, he's honestly already dead. Yep. Can use that. I'm gonna go ahead and put the slow stun on this guy. And he's dead. There we go. Let's see if we can Salus maybe. Uh, no. Oh well, <laughs> shit. Fenmore doing the damage. Let's go ahead and get this. I doubt they can stop us right now. So I'm just not even gonna care. Oh, some lag there. Oh, shit. Alright, so basically he just wants to pull us into his base. From what I can see. But, oh god. Oh, Jesus. I mean, it doesn't matter if I'm lagging because we already won, but Jesus. I do wanna... Oh, please no. Damn. <laughs> the, the, the Nexus, or not the Nexus, but whatever. Killed me. GG. So, that was the uh, new person. Vasco. Who looks pretty damn awesome, in my opinion. He's got the uh, markings on his chest. The giant axes. I don't know if those are axes or just like giant clubs with blades on the end. Though I suppose that's what an axe is. Regardless, let's see what we get. Now, unfortunately, I already did my, I already got my win of the day, so I cannot get that for this game. But hopefully, I can at least get a. Oh well, hopefully I'll get a divine. But hopefully, at least I'll get eh, maybe exalted. Hopefully, that is a good number, a decent number at least. Do I hear exalted now? Eh? Astral. That's not bad. Let's see what we get. All right, and <laughs> crafting currency, of course. Anyway, well, this has been Commander Blondie with Vasco. See you later.